I'm going to talk to you about why focusing on being liked as a vegan is a massive flaw. In no other circumstance do we go out into the world and we think being liked is more important than the task at hand or the mission at hand, right? We also know that people don't really like people who care too much about being liked. We actually like people who don't care about what other people think of them. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, like, dude, I'm not here to make friends with it. Even though it's great that we're friendly, I'm here to speak for animals. I so, understand. like, I understand. you know, that's the bottom line. Why is it that every vegan currently, though, focuses on being liked as a priority? Doesn't really resonate with the way the world works, does it? So we think if we say the right thing, do the right thing, and the person that we're talking to likes us, they'll go vegan. What happens when they don't like you anymore? All right? They go back to abusing animals. He's not vegan. Joey, um, how are you going? Yes, how are you doing? All right. Hey, what's your name? Um, Mark. Hey, Mark. Nice yeah, to it's you, cool. Mate. It's, it's weird because I've seen you on YouTube so many times. Oh, awesome, it's not like I know you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're from England. I am. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Do you live in Australia here? Uh, no, I don't. I'm actually just visiting. Oh, cool. Yeah, Me yeah. too. Hey, yeah. Cool. But, um, like I'm not actually. Uh, just I'll just put it out there. I'm not, yeah. I'm not vegan or anything. Oh really? No, but I, I do enjoy watching it, and like you do make really good points, and also. Why aren't uh, you a vegan? Um. So there's like a there's a couple of like first of all like um, like where I live is actually really difficult to uh, to sort of find anything like that. I know that's the first excuse anyone will say, but uh, I actually live in China, you know, so um, it's like super difficult to to get away from any of that. So um, like another thing would be sort of uh, so in order to in order to produce plants, right? We still need to use pesticides and things like that in order to, to, to grow the crops. You said we still need to use pesticide? Uh, well, as okay. I understand it, we do. We okay. need to use something in order to stop the, the, the wildlife eating the crops okay. that we... That's a, that's a very big point there. You said we still need to. Do we do not need to? Well, if, if, if you're declaring that we need to to stop, you know, animals from destroying the crops that feed humans, then that's a different... Uh, scenario to needlessly slashing pigs' throats open for I bacon. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So you're putting a justification in there, yeah. you know, with insects that can't be reasoned with, that don't listen to to me saying, "Hey, can you please not destroy this crop here?" You know, even though there are veganic farms who are moving towards more ethical oh, farming. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, but vegans don't run plant farms, do they? No, but yeah. No, no, no we don't. No. Yeah, yeah. but. Is that, so you would say that because, like, let me just get this straight. So you would say that because there's harm in crop production, that justifies. I didn't say anything. So, okay, uh, okay. I mean, I'm not. But you food, said that I'm I asked you why you're not vegan. Team. Yeah. And you said because of pesticides and sure. there's harm in crops. So I'm just saying, you're saying because there is harm in crop production, that then justifies what you see on the screens behind you. Oh, I didn't justify anything. I'm not saying anything. Okay. Uh, you said that. Yeah. But why would you say that that the reason you're not vegan is because of pesticides? Oh no, I didn't say the reason that I'm, that I'm not vegan is because of pesticides. One of the things was it was too difficult in China, and then the okay, next so thing, yeah, there yeah. is a lot. It is a lot more difficult. But don't get me wrong. If I see something vegan, I'm like, I, I don't go, oh, that's disgusting. I'm not going to eat it. Actually, you know what? Mate? I find the vegan and vegetarian food actually tastes a lot better because mm. you have to put a lot more, like, um, yeah. you know, you put more into it in order to to get the taste out. Yeah, of it. I mean, so I don't really give I'm a fuck about that. But it. what I care about is, you know, so much about the ways you abuse animals through your lifestyle but sure. you still haven't you still haven't stopped abusing animals I'm just wondering what uh, possesses the mind of someone uh, <laughs> who knows so much about the violent cruel torture they contribute to and still continue to do it well there's there's no getting around it I mean wh whatever you buy there's going to be some sort of destruction somewhere isn't it I mean yeah sure we can oh, yeah take the, that's an argument yeah yeah I mean I, I'm not saying that it's right Does, is that justification I didn't say that. No. I didn't say that, right? Um, but like in anything we do, by just living, we, we take, right? Yeah. Which is why I, I think don't it's disagree great with that, you. I don't disagree with you. But which is why I think it's great that like more and more big corporations are planning to go carbon negative and everything like that, you know? Uh, yeah, that's a different issue. That's an environmental harm issue. Yeah, but I, I, As I, from I a know. rights violation, right? Yeah. You are being these animals are being subjugated, enslaved, having their children stolen, raped, I inseminated. Yeah, yeah tortured and killed mm. okay now just because there's always going to be some impact from us living right does that mean we should cause the maximum torture and killing and just say what well, you know there's always going to be some harm might as well torture and kill pigs in gas chambers while i'm at it yeah 
You know, we don't. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, sure. Well, what I, I was understand. saying, well. If you bring that up in a conversation about ethics, mm -hmm. I'm thinking you're using it as an excuse. So that's why I'm coming back at you, because yeah. why else would you say it? Say, say what exactly? When you, use, when you start bringing up these, we are gonna, we're gonna cause, up, cause some harm, mm -hmm. right? So we're, everything we do causes an impact. Sure. So I think you're you using think that it as just living is immoral. Yeah. Or I'm trying the, to give you, give you a reason why I'm coming back at you. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. you're using that mm -hmm. as an excuse to justify that. You know what I mean? Right. I, I understand. That's why. You're at. So why else would you say it in a conversation about why aren't you vegan? Right. You I see, mean, I only came over to just see you just because I, you know, I, um, uh, I did the, uh, what do you call it, Challenge 22? But yeah. I did it for 28 days, and it was, it was yeah. pretty cool. And then what but, happened after that 28 days? Uh, back into the like friendship groups, the societies, you know, and like, it comes back to you. Yeah. 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 Right. You know very well what happens to animals, so you can yeah. eat their corpses. I don't think being in China is an excuse for, you know, contributing to the, to what so happens to, to animals over there. Um, but I have massively cut down on whatever no. what I'm eating. So I um, mean, yeah. there's progress there, absolutely. There's, there's progress, there. but you're still an animal abuser through your lifestyle. You know, well, I think everybody is in uh, to some to some extent. And I'm not saying that that makes it right, but by you eating fruit and vegetables that have been grown using pesticides, you're also benefiting from the fact that an animal has been killed. And I mean, if you think, okay, so you're against factory farming, which is absolutely fantastic. Not necessarily just factory farming, okay, but that's okay. most of the problem. I'm but against animal exploitation. the hundreds of millions of, uh, of bugs and insects that are killed by, the, um, that are killed by pesticides yeah. through, uh, that have been used to grow the fruit and vegetables that you're eating. Okay, so what, I mean, do, I, take, what do I eat? Nuts, legumes, fruit, well, Yeah, but what am I supposed pasta. to eat if you're not giving me anything exactly. else to eat? Exactly. Okay. Right. Yeah. So, so should I, I chuck a pig in a gas chamber too? I didn't say that. No, but you are. No, I, I, no I'm not. No, but you I'm are. Not, I'm not. You are. But you I'm are chucking a, you're chucking a pig in a gas chamber as well as all the insects that die for your necessity. Your, right. Your, your necessity to survive. No, I, I, compl yeah. I completely agree. The, so should I... So, no, so, no, 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 hold on, hold on, mate. Let me, let me okay, just make, you go. The, go make your point. Yeah, yeah. Make your point. So, like, just by existing, Humans are. I, I know this. The, I repeat like, this over and over again. I, I understand that. Yeah. I've seen your videos, and yeah. I think that's absolutely great that you come and I concede and you, that. You educate people. I concede that. Sort of thing. I concede right. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but there's no way to live without causing some sort of harm to something in in I can in see some that. Way, right. So just by existing, if you think that we're causing harm, then you think we shouldn't exist. Not necessarily. No. no? I, I think there's justified harm to survive. And then I think there's unjustified torture and animal abuse and killing. I Just agree. like I think that that abusing a child is, on top of the yeah. harm you cause, yeah. unjustified. All right. So if I was to say, hey, you come up to me, right? I'm abusing a child consciously, right? Yes. You come up to me and go, stop abusing that child. And I go to you, do you know how many thousands of insects you kill because you want to eat your fruits and vegetables? That's a good point. That's a very good point. Well, you, this is what you're doing yeah. to me. Why are you doing that? Some, Why are you doing to that to me? That can, yeah. Why are you doing that back to you? Kill animal, you kill insects to through your, you know, you cause harm as well. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And you're chucking yeah, yeah. a pig in a gas chamber too. Right. In in that instance, yeah. Yeah. So why? Wouldn't you rather just okay? As as a vegan, I'm going to be causing the least amount of animal exploitation. You, you're actually not exploiting animals at all. Sure. You're causing indirect harm. You know that that from from living, you're walking around, you're stepping right. on an insect, you're buying a an apple. Maybe maybe that farm did or didn't use pesticide. Yeah. You don't know. I can guarantee you that that cow come out of a slaughterhouse full of blood, chopped up into pieces, and fed your stomach. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. why cause the maximum amount of suffering and death when you don't you don't have to, man? No, I understand. But I mean, if it's um, if people are going vegan for for these reasons, I think it's absolutely great that people that more and more people are. First of all, cutting down, and then second of all, doing the most and, and being as compassionate as they are. And uh, mate, I've seen your interviews on BBC because being from England, we watch, uh, we watch yeah. Piers Morgan on, on yeah. uh, Good Morning Every. Uh, he uses the insect argument too. It's ridiculous. No, no, I, I agree. And on that interview, because I, I generally, I, I quite like him, but in these interviews, I think that he throws, I think his, that he you're throws his logic out the window. He throws his logic and he throws himself around like I a raging that, bull. I could use that yeah. insect argument to justify torturing and killing a dog right here in front of your face. But you'd say stop. I and I'd say, yeah. what do you mean stop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, your insects die for your fruits and vegetables, mate. You're a hypocrite. Sure. What, do you think morality shouldn't exist because there are, there's some impact from us trying to survive? Mm. You know, does that just give us carte blanche to go and 
carte blanche to go and stab and kill whoever we want, you know? For sure, no. Yeah, I mean, like, what, the reason I'm a vegan is because I was accountable and responsible. I didn't make any shit excuses for the animal abuse I was contributing to. And I just went, right, I'm gonna stop. Yeah. I'm gonna stop, okay, I'm gonna stop chucking pigs into gas chambers and stabbing chickens in the throat, yeah. all right? And try to tread as lightly on the earth as possible. Mm. You know? yeah. Thank you very much, Joe. Awesome, yeah, brother. It's been awesome. <laughs> nice it's, talking. It's cool, to, it's cool to meet you. And honestly, I do think that, um, uh, what's it, when you go on these shows and it's they post like, I mean, the, the titles are like Militant Vegan, like throws around, whatever, you know, yeah. and they, they post you to be something that you're not. But. Yeah, no, I appreciate that, mate. Yeah, thanks and, very uh, much. And I hope the next time I see you've just, yeah. the reason we're here, mate. Like, yeah. you know. Well, I, I walked by earlier, I was just like, oh, Joey Kovshon does it. So. <laughs> yeah. And you know, like, dude, I'm not here to make friends with it. Even though it's great that we're friendly, I'm here to speak for animals. I so, understand. like, I you know, that's the bottom line. Um, and the insect argument's really repugnant. It's really repugnant because it's just, mate. Well, if we're if going it, around in circles yeah. on that. I mean, it's like, if you think the um, the killing one animal is, um, is is a bad thing, then like, think of the hundreds of millions that have to die just because of our living. I mean, in the, in that case, if you think that it's bad for um, for us to kill these hundreds of millions, then you're saying that it's bad for human, this human species to exist on like a fundamental level. I think there's justified things we do to, to survive, okay? And I think there's unjustified things we do. And when you talk about killing one animal, that animal also ate tons and tons of plant food. You know, I understand. You know, yeah, yeah, which, yeah. which all incur their own. So when you eat a pig, you're not just eating that pig. You're, you're eating everything that that pig ate. Yeah. All right. Which is killing. You know. So what I'm saying is, if you eat the plants directly, all right. And no, veganic farming hasn't taken over the world. Vegans are not trying yet. to stop you from eating bacon first. All right. That's what we're trying yeah. to do first. Next, we're going to try to make crop farming less horrific. Mm. Okay. Where they're spraying all this stuff, spraying all these little bugs, and shooting animals to get get them off their farm. Yeah. You know, we're not doing that. You know. There's things we can easily avoid to stop the animal abuse. Fundamentals. Sure. All the right, best, brother. my friend. Nice Thank chatting you. to you. Thanks for yeah. the conversation. See you, buddy. Yeah. That was interesting. The insect argument really is repugnant and just, it's really a non-argument, isn't it? It's just, come on. When you, when you put a child here, or a dog, or whoever, yourself, or like, let's just say I, you know, was a real asshole and just started assaulting him and said, well, Morality doesn't exist because my fruits and vegetables harm insects, so I might as well not stop myself from stabbing everybody. You know, it's just really ridiculous when you put it like that. Helicopter.